The cosmos, with its vast expanse of galaxies, stars, and the celestial bodies within, has always been a subject of awe and wonder. The grandeur of the universe is only eclipsed by the enigma that surrounds its creation and existence. And while several mysteries have continued to perplex scientists and enthusiasts alike, today, thanks to technology, we might have answers to at least some of the questions. From the genesis of life on Earth to the theoretical origins of the universe itself, we will, in this video, try to shed light on the intricate cosmic tapestry that constitutes our very existence. Our journey begins on the third rock from the sun, our home, Earth. Life, as we understand it, depends on a complex orchestra of organic elements like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. These elements combine in intricate ways to form amino acids, proteins, and ultimately, the helical beauty of DNA, the blueprint of life. But how did these organic elements come to our planet? And how did they evolve into such complex structures? A plausible theory suggests that comets and asteroids, remnants from the solar system's formation, delivered these volatile elements to Earth. Frozen in these celestial bodies, water and organic compounds could have survived the harsh early conditions on Earth. Upon impact, they would have enriched our planet with the essential ingredients for life. But how did these simple organic compounds give rise to the complex structure of DNA? Some hypothesize that the process began in the primordial soup, a concoction of organic compounds in Earth's early oceans. Over time, energy from lightning or ultraviolet radiation could have catalyzed reactions that transformed these simple compounds into more complex molecules, eventually leading to RNA and DNA. This explanation, however, is far from definitive and leaves room for alternative hypotheses, such as life originating near hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, or even being delivered from Mars or other planets. Each hypothesis presents its challenges, thus preserving the grand paradox of life's origin on Earth. As we gaze at the sky, another celestial body that cannot escape our sight is the Moon. Our sole natural satellite, the Moon's existence is another cosmic mystery. The prevailing explanation, the giant impact hypothesis, proposes a scenario of cataclysmic proportions. About 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized body named Thea is thought to have collided with the nascent Earth. The energy released in this titanic collision would have been sufficient to eject a vast amount of material into space. This debris, comprising parts of both Thea and Earth's mantle, eventually coalesced to form the Moon. This theory explains many aspects of the Moon's composition and its gravitational interaction with Earth. However, it also raises questions, such as why the Moon's composition closely matches Earth's mantle, but shows less evidence of Thea. Various refinements to this hypothesis are being explored to address these issues, including the possibility of a more violent impact or a faster spinning early Earth. Expanding our view to the wider solar system, we find another unique feature, the arrangement of planets. Our solar system comprises four interterrestrial planets, followed by four outer gas giants. This setup is quite different from many other star systems, where gas giants are found closer to their stars. The current hypothesis for this arrangement is that the gas giants in our solar system, particularly Jupiter and Saturn, migrated from their original positions closer to the Sun to their current locations. Their movement would have caused chaos, flinging smaller bodies inwards and outwards, possibly explaining the late heavy bombardment about 3.9 billion years ago, where the inner planets were pummeled by asteroids. This planetary migration might also explain the formation of the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune, filled with icy bodies and the Oort Cloud, a hypothetical distant spherical shell surrounding the solar system, home to long-period comets. However, these are complex processes involving intricate gravitational interactions that are not yet fully understood, leaving our solar system's unique structure a subject of ongoing research. As we venture beyond our solar system, the grand structures of galaxies capture our attention. The cosmos is teeming with galaxies, ranging from dwarf galaxies with just a few billion stars to giants containing trillions. The two primary types of galaxies are spiral, like our Milky Way, and elliptical, with more random spherical structures. A puzzling aspect of galaxy formation is their age. Spiral galaxies appear to be as old as the universe itself, suggesting they formed shortly after the Big Bang. This theory aligns with the idea 
that galaxies started as quantum fluctuations in the early universe that were magnified during cosmic inflation, leading to areas of overdensity where stars and thus galaxies formed. Elliptical galaxies, on the other hand, appear to be younger. This observation is puzzling because elliptical galaxies are typically devoid of gas and dust needed for star formation, suggesting they should be older, not younger. One possible explanation is that elliptical galaxies are formed by the collision and merger of spiral galaxies. Such events can trigger a burst of star formation, using up the available gas and leading to the gas-poor elliptical galaxies we observe. And while the age paradox of galaxies remains one of the many unsolved problems in astrophysics, we have yet another problem. At the heart of many galaxies, including our Milky Way, lurk supermassive black holes, cosmic behemoths millions or billions of times the mass of our Sun. These enigmatic entities present another cosmic conundrum. How did they form so early in the universe's history? Several theories attempt to answer this question. One states that the first stars, known as Population 3 stars, were much larger than current stars and ended their short lives as black holes, which then served as seeds for supermassive black holes. Another theory proposes that large gas clouds in the early universe directly collapsed into black holes. Yet another suggests the existence of primordial black holes born from the quantum fluctuations of the early universe, which could have grown into the supermassive black holes we observe today. Each of these theories presents its challenges, and scientists continue to explore this mystery. Speaking of the early universe, another puzzle emerges, the mystery of antimatter. According to the laws of physics, the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. When matter and antimatter particles meet, they annihilate each other, converting their mass into energy. If the universe started with equal amounts of both, they should have annihilated completely leaving a universe filled with energy, but devoid of matter. Yet, we live in a universe dominated by matter. The prevailing theory, known as baryogenesis, proposes that some event in the early universe tipped the balance, leading to a slight excess of matter particles over antimatter particles. As the universe expanded and cooled, matter and antimatter mostly annihilated each other, leaving a residue of matter that now forms stars, planets, and us. However, what precisely caused this asymmetry is still unknown and is one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics. And lastly, our cosmic journey leads us back to the beginning, to the Big Bang, the event that gave birth to our universe. According to the standard cosmological model, the universe started as an extremely hot and dense point, or a singularity, that expanded and cooled to form the universe we see today. But what really caused the Big Bang? Some physicists propose that the Big Bang was the result of quantum fluctuations in what is known as a quantum vacuum, a state of nothingness that is not empty but filled with virtual particles that continuously pop in and out of existence due to the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In this scenario, a quantum fluctuation could have given rise to our universe. Another theory, known as the cyclic model, proposes that our universe is just the latest iteration in an endless cycle of big bangs and big crunches. In this model, the universe undergoes periods of expansion and contraction, with each big crunch leading to a subsequent big bang, creating a new universe. These theories, though fascinating, push the boundaries of our understanding and are still the subject of ongoing research. They represent our best attempts to understand the origin of everything, to comprehend how our universe came into being from nothing. To sum up the whole video, from the intricate DNA molecules that form the basis of life on Earth to the vast cosmic expanse birthed by the Big Bang, each element of our universe presents mysteries that compel us to explore further. As we stand on the precipice of cosmic understanding, peering into the mysteries that lie beyond, one thing is clear. Our universe is an intriguing puzzle, a paradoxical mixture of known and unknown, a testament to our enduring curiosity. It is this curiosity that propels us forward, pushing us to ask difficult questions and seek out their answers, no matter how elusive they might be. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time!